Oh, some people told me it's not safe here. Why do the people say that? Oh, it's not. That's that is not true. That's not true. I didn't feel that. Yeah. This Which, is the safe place in the Philippines. Uh, this is good. Yeah. It's a, it's it's uh, halwa. Okay, okay. I will try this. Um, ooh, the chicken looks very yummy. So you have eleven brothers and sisters. Three sisters. Three sisters and brothers. eight brothers. Yes. So total is eleven. Before I came here, a lot of people were telling me to not even enter. Mahali. Yeah, I heard it's like dangerous. Yes. Is this How are you, sir? Good. I'm okay. Okay, let's go. How are you? This door is for you. Yeah. Oh. Okay. <laughs> All right. So. Um, yeah, so this this part of the city that I'm taking to. Valdez, Valdez. Huh? Yeah, Valdez, yeah. I will tell you the direction. I have the map. No problem. So, basically, this part of Tagig is like the older part. And this village that I'm kind of going to is known as Maharlika. It's close to where I'm staying. It's like a Muslim village. Uh, many, many Muslim people and a lot of halal restaurants. It's kind of an undiscovered part of uh, Manila that a lot of people don't really usually cover. So let's go check it out and uh, maybe get some food, talk to some people and see some places that I haven't seen here. Over here you have to turn right. Yeah. All right guys. Hello. All right, guys. So I have to find a laundry place. Hello. Hi. Hello. Hi. Is there a laundry place here? Laundry? There's no laundry here. Laundry? Yeah. There's one laundry place here. No. Hola. This, this way. This way. Okay. Thank you. All right, we're looking for this laundry place. This way? Okay. One, one second. All right, I gotta get changed so I can give this driver. Kuya, di ba sa 7-Eleven? Sabi nun. Di ba may 7-Eleven dito? Tapos sabi nun na yun dyan. Bakit? Ano ang hinahanap niya? Ano? The laundry. This way? Okay. This way. Okay, thank you. Found the laundry place. All right. Hi. How are you, man? Um, can I drop my laundry here? Um, can you wash but no dry? Only washing. Uh, drying is like hanging. Yeah. Or I can come back and pick it up, no problem. Wash only? Yeah, wash only and then I come pick it up. Uh, wh how long? How much time? 30 minutes. 30 minutes? Okay. And how much? Do you have detergent? Uh, no, no detergent. One twenty-seven. Okay, so I come back and pay. Please. Pay first. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so, let's try to see if I could come back and pay. But one twenty-seven, right? Alrighty, guys. Laundry dropped off. Now we can actually make this vlog. Get it going. Hi. How are you? How are you? Hey! How are you doing? I'm good. Good? Yes, how about you? Good. What kind of food do you have? Uh, this is um, Filipino food. Filipino? Yeah. Sinigang. Oh. Sinigang. Pork what is Sinigang. Siligang? Sinigang. Yes. Siligang. In English, broth. Broth. Pork. Pork. Uh, I, don't eat po I don't eat pork. Why? Uh, I'm Muslim. Yes. Uh, yeah, so I don't eat pork. Blood of chicken. Chicken. Heart. Heart. Oh yeah, wow! Neighbor. Look at this. The heart of chicken. What is the name of this area? Uh, Taco Street. Taco. Upper no. Bikutan. Like this village. Yes. Is name what? Upper Bikutan. Upper Bikutan. Oh, very nice. I'm gonna walk around and see Upper Bikutan. Hello. <laughs> I'll be back. <laughs> Thank you. All right. So. Upper Bikutan is the name of this area. So I think Maharlika is just a small. Hello. <laughs> I think uh, I think Maharlika is just a small village within this area. 
of Upper Bikutan. Oh, a barber shop. I need a I need a haircut. Hi, sir. How are you doing? Okay. Good. Um, when will you be free for a haircut? Free? Like, what time can I come for a haircut? Yeah, today. Uh, like, how many minutes? Maybe 20 minutes, 30 um, minutes? I uh, know, uh, two minutes. Two minutes? What about her? Oh. She need to finish, no? Oh. After finish her, then you can cut? Oh. Okay, I will okay. come back. Okay, okay. thank you. Okay. <laughs> All right. Cool little barber shop. What is it called? Genio Darcy Barber Shop. All right, we're gonna go there. I need a haircut, guys. Ooh, man, I'm sweating. But yeah, this is uh, Upper Bikutan, also known as Maharlika. You'll see a lot of Muslim people around here, and it's uh, so far it's a cool place. You know, I'm actually looking for some food because I'm very hungry. I haven't had lunch yet, but I was like, in the meantime. Let's go for a walk and see what this place is like. Seems like a cool place though. Everybody seems really nice. Hello. How are you? Hello. Assalamu alaikum. How are you? All right. Hello, sir. Oh, another barber shop. Hi, sir. How are you? How much? How much do you charge for a haircut? Eighty. Eighty pesos. Yes. Can you give me a haircut like that? Yes. Like a mid mid taper, like that one. Yes, yes. You can do that. Yes. Okay, so I will come to you. Thank okay. You, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> All right. So I don't know which one to go to now. There's that guy looks good. The other one looks good too. Look at this. Yeah, it's fixing. Some bikes here. Hi, how are you? Hello. You're fixing. You're fixing. Uh, you're making these. You fix them. Ah, oh, very nice. Interesting. Look at this. There's a lot going on here, guys. Wow. Just keep walking through and seeing what this place offers. So apparently there's some like halal restaurants here too. So we're gonna go and try to find those. Because uh, let's see, let's see what they offer. It's interesting to see different communities within Philippines. I didn't know there was a Muslim community here. I recently learned about it. So I'm like, let's go check it out. I think this way. It's Mahalika. Woo! Man, it's hot. See, now I'm starting to see some like halal stores pop up here. And hello! I think we're getting closer to the uh, Maharlika area where there is a... Ooh, look at this! A beautiful mosque! Wow! Not something you see very often in, um, in the Philippines. A nice mosque. Hello! How are you guys? Look at this beautiful mosque. Ahlan wa sahlan. Hello, sir. Hi, how are you, sir? I'm okay. Good. This is a beautiful mosque. Yes. Yeah. What is the name of this mosque? I don't know, sir, because of my bodies. Oh, you're not from here? Oh, okay. All right. Oh, it's called the Blue Masjid. That ah, makes sense. With the blue. The blue theme. Oh, no. I don't think we're allowed to go inside. Well, actually, I could, but I don't have pants on. Let's see if I can try to walk in here and see if they will uh, let me in here. It's beautiful. Nice mosque.
السلام عليكم Are you guys from here? Yes. Uh, yeah. Yes. Yeah. This is like uh, what's the name of this area? Masjid. Uh, the name of this 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 place. Blue Masjid. Maharlika. Maharlika, right? Yeah. Uh, is many Muslim people here? Yeah. Ah, very nice. So yeah, guys, we are sitting inside of a beautiful mosque. Um, this is known as the Blue Masjid. Blue Masjid. Yeah. And um, it's in the Maharlika area. And these are my friends. What's your What's your name? Jarud. Jarud. Abdul? Adam. Adam, Mahir. Nice to meet you guys. Yeah, it's beautiful. Can I take a walk around? It's okay? Sure. Yeah? I don't have pants, but uh, it's okay? They, they don't mind? Okay, thank you so much. <laughs> okay. All right, guys, look at this beautiful dome. Hi. Asalaamu As Alaikum. Look at this beautiful dome, man. You don't really see this kind of like mosques too much in uh, in the Philippines because the Philippines is dominantly a uh, Catholic I guess you could say a Catholic country so um, when you do see some beautiful mosques like this it's nice it's really really nice wow it's hot guys everybody's hiding from the from the Sun right now I'm, I'm standing in it but Assalamu alaikum. How are you guys? Uh, Pakistani. Assalamu alaikum. How are you doing? Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. What's your names? Muhammad Muhammad Ali Abdul Rahman. Abdul Rahman. Are you guys from this area? Yes. Yes. Oh, very nice. We're having. What is the No, foreign son. English. Arabic studies. Arabic studies. Ah, very nice. I don't speak Arabic. Shway shway. <laughs> Very nice. So uh, this place is known as Maharlika, right? Where can I find some good food here? Like halal food? Downstairs. Downstairs. No, uh, which, which way? This way? Yes. Down this way? Yeah. There's like a food street or yes. something? Halal. Okay. Okay. Thank you so much. Assalamu alaikum. Good luck. Good luck on your studies. Alright. Very nice people, very welcoming. Like all Filipinos, very welcoming. If you're ever in Manila, definitely, and you wanna see a cool mosque and a cool little village with Muslim people. I like to shine light on these communities that don't get too much, uh, I guess, press or coverage. I mean, most vloggers don't really show this stuff. But my goal is to always show things that not everyone is showing. Hello, how are you? So I've been led this way. Let's go. Now one thing I could say about this area is it's a lot more peaceful than if you go to like central or downtown Manila, you know, um, where it's madness and chaos at all times at least here it just seems like a little bit more chill i guess you could say so definitely feel that oh they have a nice park here as well where you can hang out looks like people are playing very nice nice park so um what is the name of this area? This area is Maharlika. Maharlika. And, and it's a lot of Muslim people here. Yeah. yeah. Mostly Muslim? This is a Muslim place. Muslim place. Very nice. Actually, everybody is very nice. I just went to the mosque. It was a beautiful mosque. Um, and some people say like, oh, some people told me it's not safe here. Why do the people say that? Oh, it's not. That's, that is not true. That's not true. I didn't feel that. Yeah. yeah. This Bec is a safe place in the Philippines because you don't, uh, <laughs> you don't see, you don't see the, like, uh, ma um, 
man not walking and drunk. Yeah, you know, yeah, because, because because of Islam, yeah, right? Yeah. People are, no drunk. And, and you know what? I think sometimes people say that Muslim uh, or is uh, people who are Muslim are not nice or is dangerous, but no. it, I'm Muslim also. Ah yes, I'm yeah, Muslim, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Assalamu alaikum. Yeah. And and in my experience, Muslim people are the most peaceful. Yes. Yeah. Right? But yeah. sometimes they have negative or bad news about Muslim people and everybody thinks that Muslim people are bad yes. but the truth is Muslim people are good people yes yeah. Yeah. good yeah very good people yeah thank you so much and yeah I'm, I'm looking for a food street somebody told ah, me I can get some go good down there this There's way so many uh, Muslim food. halal restaurants yes, halal. I want to eat some everything. good halal food Every, what do you everything. recommend if you're from uh, here what would you do you eat pastil what is pastil Rice, uh, rice and chicken. chicken. Okay, uh, where can it's I only buy? Only ten pesos. Oh wow, yeah. ten pesos. Oh, uh. Yeah, that, that, you go down there. This way. Okay, yeah. brother. What's your name? June. June. Mm. Meyer. Meyer. Nice to meet you. Thank you guys. Thank I you. Subscribe you. Yes. Oh, subscribe. Meyer travels. Yes. Okay. Assalamualaikum. Alaykum. Thank you. <laughs> All right. So, again, very nice people. I'm trying to demystify the stereotypes here, man. Because you know, a few times I've been told that. Uh, you, know, you should be careful in this area and a lot of times that happens when you go to like places where Muslims are because I don't know you know obviously the news and the negative press always puts a negative stereotype and connotation on Muslim people and and I'm not just saying this because I'm a Muslim myself but in my experience Muslim people are usually the kindest the most kind people and the most giving the most welcoming and, but in general, Filipino people are really, really welcoming. So it's, um, it's like a combination. You get Muslim and Filipino. That's like the most welcoming and kind people. Hello. Hello. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam. How are you? Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. How are you guys? I'm fine. I'm fine. Very good. Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. I'm looking for uh, some good food, some halal food. Halal food. This way. This way. This way. Where can just straight. straight? Straight, straight, straight. How how far? This side or this side? Meters. On, on the on the right side or the left side? On the right. On the right side. Left and right. Left and right. Okay. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Salam alaikum. All right. Yeah. So you can really see the hospitality of the Muslim people here. All very kind, very good people. So now we're gonna go try and get some. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. Oh, here we go. Ooh, Maddie's halal cuisine. Assalamu alaikum. How are you? Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen. Alhamdulillah, I need some food. I'm hungry. Hello, 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 hello. Uh, this is good. Yes. It's a, it's it's uh, hello. Okay, okay. I will try this. Um, ooh, the chicken looks very yummy. Yeah, yeah, yummy. It's like um. <laughs> you speak good Arabic. <laughs> Alright, guys. I'm sorry. My camera keeps overheating. It's so hot outside. That's the one problem with GoPro is uh it overheats very quickly but here we have the chicken look at that amazing chicken man it's a nice piece of breast mm. and some rice very simple dish but it's halal which is nice and we're going to try this out Let's rip off a piece of this chicken wow look at that guys look at how white and tender that meat is it's juicy Let's try a piece Some rice. This one. Mm. Wow. Mm. Amazing. Wow. It's like a little bit charred on the outside. Has this nice sauce over it. Oh my god. Look how tender that meat is. Amazing. Amazing. Halwa. Good. Very good. Masala. Masala. <laughs> when I tell you this is amazing, I mean it. This is really, really yummy. 
simple dish, just a piece of breast chicken. But the way she cooked it over that charcoal fire with the with the uh, little sauce that she dripped over it, it's just is a recipe for perfection. Oh, with the the rice is cooked to perfection. Sometimes it's the simple things in life that just. Whew. There it is, guys. The food is all done. I've abolished that chicken. The chicken is no longer with us. Rest in peace. Wow, that was amazing. The food was amazing. The people are really nice. Thank you so much. Very yummy. And you guys have to make sure you come to this restaurant when you're here in Tagig. It's called Maddie's Halal Cuisine in, oh, right here. Maddie's Halal Cuisine in Maharlika. Maharlika. Very nice. What's your name? Kathy. Are you the owner of this place? Yes. And how long have you guys been here? Nine months. Nine months. How is it? How is the business going? It's fine. It's going good. Yeah. Inshallah, you will keep growing more and more and more. And how much is the the dish? One fifty. One fifty. Okay. And guys, it's very reasonable. You saw the amount of chicken they give you. I don't have change. You don't have change. You don't have fifty. Yeah. Okay. So as you saw, this lady makes an amazing chicken so on the grill, like this. Yummy. Super yummy. And yeah, very nice. What are you drinking? Pineapple. Pineapple. Ah, very nice. So amazing food, great price. And very nice ladies. So guys, I was just shopping, uh, getting some water, and this store is very by the way, very nice store. And this gentleman owns it. No, I, I own the building. You own the whole building? Yeah. Ah, look at it. He's like, I don't own the store, I own the whole building. Yeah. So guys, I just met this very nice gentleman who actually owns this whole building. And he, your name is? Adam. Adam. And where are you from? I'm from Saudi. Saudi. Yeah. So guys, he's here from Saudi Arabia. So as you can see, he's made an investment into this Muslim uh, community as well. How long have you been here? 14 years. 14 years? Yeah, I've been here for a long time. That's a long time. So, what brings you to this community? How did you find out about this place? Back in 2009, I came here to take a course. A course? Uh, aeronautics. I'm a pilot. Oh, you're a pilot? I, yes. Oh, wow. Very I have the CBL and IR. Oh, wow. So I came here um, in 2009 after I finished um, agriculture engineering after high school. Okay. I came here for the aeronautics and then I finished the course. I had all the license and then I decided to go back. Okay. Which is I it, it done. And you after, finished? I finished. Did yes. you ever fly commercially or anything no, like that? No, okay. Not, 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 not in the airline. You never got I, into yes, that. No, no. Okay, okay. That's a tough life being a pilot. Well all my classmates being all, 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 all of them are in the airlines or except all, one. Except one. Uh, we are the only two who well, have like been, uh, Emirates and stuff like they, that. Yes, Cebu Pacific. Oh Cebu Pacific. Pacific. Oh, Saudi Airlines, okay, okay. most of them oh. because most of my classmates were, they were in here. Saudi. Yes. Oh, Saudi. Very nice. Yeah, we were and our batch was like more than eighty two. So, okay. Yes. So now you live here? Then when I came, that's the time I um, got married. You got, then, okay, so yes. you're married to a local? But yes, okay. Filipina, and then I have four kids. Oh, mashallah, yeah. right? very nice. So, um, what, like, what would you say about this community? village, this community? You know, when I came here in the Philippines first time, I st stayed in Makati for a year, and then I stayed in Pasay in different villages. And okay. then I came here, I, I decided to stay, well, I am a Muslim. Yes. And then I came here of course, to this village. It, it, Before I came here, a lot of people telling me do not even enter Mahal. Yeah, I heard it's like dangerous. Yes, this they, and said, that. they said it's killing, it's blah, blah, blah. But I don't so feel this at like, all. Oh. You know, I will tell you something, my yeah. own experience. So when I start to uh, see, because you know, I that time my son is already three years old and he start to understand everything. Uh. I would love to be let him like go along with a Muslim community. Yeah. You know, someone who has the same faith. Same at least. belief, same. Yeah. Same culture, yes, same moral. Exactly. Yes, yes. And this village is the majority are Muslims. Okay. I heard a very bad background yes. about Muslims and this village. So I decided to come here and see myself. You know, we believe we die only in of our course, time. Of course, of course, yeah. So I start to come here walking around 3 a.m. Okay. 3 a.m. 3 a.m. Walking. Wow. Only. I, I entered, 3 a.m. guys, he was yes, walking around. Yes, yeah. I enter the village, I go everywhere. Yeah. The only thing I saw, 
a very friendly, nice people, people. smiling in your face. Assalamu alaikum, yeah, shaking <laughs> hands, offering you. As Muslim people usually yes, are. Yes, yeah. offering, offering you a help. But I think the problem is like a lot of times Muslim communities get negative uh, stereotype because of. Even in India, everywhere. even in Pakistan, everywhere. I don't know where. Yeah, because, I don't know why. because media. they're media. media. They like to make a negative media. news. Yes, so know. that's why in my channel, when I cover any Muslim community, I try to show like that, like, look, we're just positive, good people, exactly. you know? You, you so. didn't, if you just go uh, around the, the village yeah. and try to talk to anyone, everybody's nice. Yes. Exactly. You That's know, what I've experienced. You know, for me, I stayed in Makati yeah. for 2009, 2010. I am in Makati, okay. you know, in the center in the where center. every yeah. Yeah, busy, very yeah. busy. Mahalika, it's the best village I've been in the whole Philippines. There it is, I, guys. I'm, I'm flying. You heard I've it? I've been in Luzon, Visayas, Mindanao. I've been in Taganti, Oro, yeah. everywhere in, in Mindanao. You heard Mahalika. it from the guy who is living here for 14 years as a foreigner. Yeah. He said this is the best village. So far, I've experienced nothing but that. All right, guys, so. Okay. Hello. <laughs> Hello. So. You saw it, man. Really cool story from that guy. He's been here 14 years as a foreigner. And he had nothing but pretty much nice things to say, you know? Like, um, and as I told you, that's what I've been feeling here. Um, it's a really, really cool place, man. So, if you ever get a chance, it's definitely a place you want to stop by. Hello, brother. Assalamu alaikum. How are you? So, now, I gotta go cut cut my hair a little bit because I've been meaning to get a haircut. Now I go. I've been meaning to get a haircut, and I haven't had a chance to actually. Now we're gonna go try to find that barber shop that I passed by before on my way here. So let's see if I can go find it. Trace my steps back. How are you, brother? <laughs> How are you, bro? Hey, bro. How's everything? Yes. Is this your yeah. motorcycle? No. no. We just we just stay here because yeah. it's so hot. So hot. Yeah, yeah I bro. feel so sweaty. Yeah, but that's Where the Philippines. Going, the uh, I was just looking. I was just walking around this village. This is my first time here, oh. in Maharlika. Where are you from, brother? Uh, I'm from the U.S. U.S. Yeah, yeah. So I'm I'm a vlogger. I do like YouTube. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, sure. <laughs> yes, yes. Let's go. We got the good summer. I, I'm actually on my way this way. Yeah. Wait, let me stay here for a moment, all right? Here? Yeah. I, I, I have to go this way, brother. <laughs> but it was nice to meet you. Yes, yeah. Thank you. Thank you so much. What's your name? I don't know, Jarvis. Jarvis. And your name? Justin Guy. Justin Guy. Very Hello. nice to meet you. Hello. Hi, guys. Hi. How are you? Are you finished with school? Yeah, yeah. Good job. Keep going to school. Okay. School is good. Okay, salam alaikum. Bye bye. So see, as you leave this part of the village, then you come over here and it says, hello! It says city of Tagig. Now you're entering Barangay Upper Bikutan. So that's... Hey! <laughs> so that's what separates that side and this side, as you can see. They're both kind of a separate area. Oh wow, looks like this guy has some good hats here. I might have to, I might have to buy a hat from you. My hair is, uh, is messed up. How are you, sir? Good? Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam. How are you, my brother? Um, how much are your hats? 250. 250. Can you make it 200? Uh, yes. Sure. For you. For me? Yes. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, this one is nice. Also, yeah. I like this Nike. Can I try this Nike? Nike? Yeah, can I try this one? Yes. Uh, one second, I'm going to take it off the hook. Let's see how this one is looks on me. Which one? Oh. Only two. Uh, just this black one. Yeah. I'll sell this one. Look guys, got a nice Nike hat here. Yeah. I need a new hat. It's been a, it's been a while since I bought a hat. Adjustable. Yeah. yeah, it's adjustable, right? Do you have a mirror? A mirror? Mirror? Yeah. Yeah, I So am. I can see. This is your shop? <laughs> there you go guys, what do you think? Let me know. I think I'm gonna get this hat. I need a hat. Why? Why? It's good? <laughs> Very nice? Beautiful? Very beautiful. Handsome. <laughs> uh, you, you handsome. <laughs> no. What's your name? 
Hossein. Hossein, nice to meet you, brother. Alrighty, guys, I got my hat. Okay. We're gonna put it in a brown bag. <laughs> Shukran. Up one. Thank you, my brother. Okay. And got, and I'll see you soon. I'll come back to buy another hat next time. Inshallah. Inshallah. Okay, brother. Okay. Salaam alaikum. Thank you. Alrighty, guys. Got my hat. Now I gotta go get a haircut. Gosh, man, this humidity doesn't doesn't do too doesn't look too good on my hair. Hello, brother. How are you? All right. Man, look at all these houses here. Small houses. Huh? Huh? Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> This was it, Mr. Goldwyn. No, that wasn't it. Sorry, there's so many. There's a few barber shops, so I'm looking for the one. Ooh, I might have to come get a coffee here after iced coffee. Where is this barber? That is the question. I know it's on this side, right here somewhere. Let's see if we can find it. Hello. Hello. How are you? Good, 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 good. Hi! <laughs> hey, my friend. Hello. Hello. Can I get a haircut? Yes. After? After? Waiting. Waiting. Yeah? How, how long? How many minutes? Uh, 15. 15 minutes? Okay, I will come back. Thank you. In the meantime, Let's go back to that place and see how their coffee is. Socolata. Hi. Hello. How are you? Oh, you're vlogging, my friend? Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, where are you from? Uh, I'm from the US. US? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Welcome, welcome. Thank What's you so name? much. Meyer. Meyer, yeah. and your vacation here? Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm uh, actually vlogging in the Philippines. So oh, really? Uh, today, uh, What's your channel? I will give you my channel. I have my card right here. All right, all right. So you can check out, this is Meyer Travels. Meyer Travels. I do like travel vlogging. Oh. So I travel around the world, show different places, different countries. Oh, yeah. yeah. So how long have you been here? In uh, the Philippines? Yeah, it's your first time? This is, no, it's my second time. Not really. Yeah, so I've been in the Philippines this time only like five days. Five days. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, so you need to rehydrate because. I need some coffee. Hydrate. Oh, sure, no yeah, problem. Yeah. Thank is you. this your shop? Yeah, this is oh, our shop. Oh, awesome. It's your real, real. Can so, you give, give her some cold coffee? Yeah, some cold uh, coffee. She's, she's vlogging. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> What's your name, bro? My name is Tim. Tim. Yeah, yeah, nice yeah, to meet yeah. you, man. So I'm yeah. waiting for a haircut, actually. Oh, yeah, I'm yeah. gonna get a haircut here. Yeah. So I figured in the meantime, I can get myself a yeah, iced coffee. Yeah, and it's cool here. It's very yeah, nice and you, easy. You can, you can What's the name of your shop right it's here? Right? Chocolate tea. So chocolate tea. Chocolate tea. Yes, chocolate tea. Can, yeah. Nice. Oh, I'm sorry. Did no I bring problem. this? No, 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 no. Oh, no it's okay. It's okay. <laughs> no problem. Alrighty, guys. Hello. How are you, brother? Um, can I get a cold uh, iced coffee? Where are you in the US? Uh, I'm from New York originally yeah. and then New Jersey. New Jersey. What about you? Where are you from? Well, I'm from here. Okay. Yeah, I was born and raised here. Born and raised. This is my place. Okay. Mm -hmm. It's nice, man. You know, yeah. one thing I noticed here, everybody's really, really kind and welcome. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So, I mean, mostly in the Philippines, people are kind. Yeah, and we are yeah, very yeah. hospitable and... Uh, very kind. So, you, you took a taxi? Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you do a research first yeah, before yeah, you go Yeah, 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 exactly. Uh, nice, nice. I mean, you know what it is? Somebody told me, don't come to this area, it's not safe, blah, blah, blah. But I'm the kind of person, if yeah. somebody tells me, don't do it, I do it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, actually, uh, there's no such thing as 100%. You know, you know, all of the countries, there's some. Um, yeah, there are issues, there's of course. Issues, of course. But, but so far, what I felt here is like, uh -huh. it's fine. Like, yeah. I don't think there's any. Well, when you walk in here in this yeah. era with this daylight, it's okay. It's okay. Yeah, yeah, there's, yeah. No, there's no problem. But at nighttime, um, it gets a little. But at nighttime. That's why I came here during the day. You will be careful during okay. nighttime because you know, okay. it's night. Definitely. But when it's well, but that's anywhere you go in the world, you know. Yeah, you have to be careful at night. But um, yeah, so I was like, let me uh, let me show this area. Yeah. So 
But there's a lot of people here. Yeah. It's, it's, it's I tried some safe. food. Yeah. yeah. Gonna get a haircut. Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. Things like that. Mm -hmm. So awesome, bro. I'm gonna. Is it okay yeah. if I sit down? Yeah, Thank you. Go, go ahead and sit Thank down. you so much. Okay, guys. Here is the socolati. You just need to shake it. Official coffee. Right. Yeah, yeah. Definitely gonna stir it up. Thank you, bro. All right. So let's give this coffee. Oh, it's so cold too. Nice. Yeah. We're gonna give it a taste test. Here we go. You know me guys, I don't function without coffee. And today, I didn't really have my coffee. I had one at home and it was an instant coffee and it just wasn't really that great. So um, this is gonna be my real first coffee of the day. So hopefully it's good, let's try it out. But this person, I was just talking to the business owner and he says he has a few branches now. So this is actually one of like four. So I'm sure he's doing a good job. All right, let's stir up the coffee here from the bottom. And this is a caramel macchiato, right? Uh, white chocolate. Oh, white chocolate. Yeah. Uh, caramel, yeah, it's, it's a caramel, caramel. yeah. It looks like caramel. Okay, here we go. Mmm. Wow. You can taste the caramel. Taste the bean. It's definitely a little bit sweet uh, because it's one of those like uh, macchiato kind of drinks. So it definitely has some sugar. Um, but wow, you can taste it. so much flavor. Uh, the caramel, the coffee. Oh, it's yummy. Very good, bro. Thank you so yeah. much. Yeah, Courtesy of the house. Oh, no, no, no. I got to pay. I got to pay. No, no, no. Courtesy of the house. No, okay. you're, you're a business okay. owner. Okay. You're running it's a okay. business. No, no, no. It's okay. It's you okay. see how kind people are, man? Yeah, yeah. Not yeah. even letting me pay here. Courtesy yeah. of the house, man. Uh, thank you so much, bro. I appreciate it, man. Guys, this, this couple is awesome. Make sure you, if you're ever in Bikutan area, please come support their business. Such good people. Actually, beyond the coffee, first of all, they're not letting me pay for my coffee. And they've given me so much advice on what to do here in the Philippines. And thank you guys so much. Right, no problem. Thank you. It was very interesting. What was your name? Amabel. Amabel. Tim. 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 Thank, thank you, you so much, guys. Take care. Alrighty. Take I'll, care, I'll definitely, if I'm back in this area, I'll stop. Yeah, take care of your travel. Okay, bye. thank you so much. Bye bye. Okay. Oh, wait. It's a pole. <laughs> Alrighty. Thank you, guys. Alright, guys. So now, time for a haircut. Okay, bye. Such nice people. Um, just very helpful. I think this uh, barber shop should be free now. Let's see. Hopefully. 15 uh, minutes again? Uh, okay, this time I'm gonna. Okay, okay, 15 minutes again. Again? I'm waiting. Okay, I'm gonna wait here this time. See, I took too long. Now he has another customer. <laughs> All right. All right, the man is done getting his hair cut. Now it's my turn to get a cut. Hey, bro. Thank you very much. No, thank you, man. Thank you, thank you. Yeah. Take care, bro. Nice hat. I like your hat. Detroit. Thank you, thank you. you know this team? Team this Red Wings. Red Wings. Yeah, Detroit. Red Wings. It's a like hockey. Yeah. This, this vintage. 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 It looks, it looks cool, man. All right, guys. So, gonna get a haircut from my friend. What's your name? Jamari. Huh? Jamari. 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 Who's gonna cut my hair? Bye, my friends. Thank okay, you. bro. Thank you. Thank you, man. So, I'm gonna get myself like a, a taper like that. Hopefully, let's see how he does it. But it looks like he's a good hair cutter because that guy's hair came out really good. So, let's see. Let's see how how uh, Yamani cuts it. So, you have 11 brothers and sisters. Three sisters. Three sisters and eight brothers. Eight brothers. Yes. So, total is 11. What number are you? Number six. Oh, center. Center, oh. <laughs> middle. Me too. I'm the middle child. Yes. Me, I'm the middle. Uh, Me, yeah, center, uh, center. Center then. Uh, Me, yeah, same. Same. Okay. Nobody cares about the middle. How many, how many years you cutting hair? Ten years. Twenty. Experience. Huh? Experience. Ten years. Ten years experience. Yes. Professional. Wow, 10 years, a long time. Working. Work, work. But exercise is good, you should do it. Yes, yes. Basketball is the best exercise. Yes. 
Look at this guys, look at the fade, on point. This guy knows how to cut hair, good. Looking like a new man already. Almost done here. Look at how he's trimming it down with the scissors. With perfection. There it is guys, look at this. I'm like a new man. All around. And this is how he looks. <laughs> Thank you so much bro. Very nice. Awesome. And how much is the haircut here? Uh, she, she been, uh, so, 150 with the beard. Very nice. Awesome, bro. Thank you so much. All right, guys. Feeling like a new man. This is a, a great barber shop. If you're here, make sure you come support this guy. He's a great guy. 150, no? Yes. Is one, two, three. For you, bro. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Nice to meet you, man. I'll see you. I'll see you next time when I come. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, bro. All right, guys, we're ready to go. Okay, bro. Thank you. So if you come to Bikutan, you can come to this barber shop. Okay. Bye, bye. Oh man, I needed that haircut, man. Feeling like a new man. Just got a haircut. He gave me like a little head massage after too. That was really nice. But yeah, guys, this is a. Uh, Bikutan and uh, Mahalika, I think that's the name of that village with the Muslim people. Uh, yeah, man, it's a really nice place. A place that I don't think a lot of people cover here. Um, a lot of vloggers don't really come to this area of Dagik. So I wanted to show this area. I wanted to show you guys something different. And I hope that I was able to give you an experience that was unique. Got myself a nice hat. The food was amazing. The people are amazing. And that's what it's all about, guys. New experiences, new food, new cultures, and just great conversations with people. That's why I do this. But I'm about to pick up my laundry from that place and head back to my place. It's been a long few hours here. I've been sweating the whole time because it's so hot. But yeah, guys, remember, I'm about more Philippines content coming soon. So stay tuned. And remember, continue to learn, continue to grow. And there is no growth until you leave your comfort zone. I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace out.